Hi guys, welcome back to Erin's Vegan Vida. So for today's video, I'm going to film uh, what I eat in a day. I have filmed two similar ones like this before, so this will be like my third one. It's pretty much like a mini vlog, so I'm going to take you guys along with me in my day so you guys can see what I eat for breakfast, for lunch, for dinner, what I snack on, just kind of an insight of my life and you guys can see what I eat normally apart from you know recipe videos although i do film recipes i don't eat that constantly i usually eat more laid back during the week it's not so much a recipe video it's just more what i eat so if you guys do like what i made and you guys want a full recipe video on it then i'll film that for you guys i eat in moderation so i eat healthy food if i want junk food vegan food then i will eat that so i just eat in moderation which is pretty normal that's what i go by <laughs> And I hope you guys really enjoy this video. It's one of my favorite type of videos to film and to watch other people film. Okay guys, so for breakfast today, I'm gonna start off by chopping up some fruit. I like to have my fruit first thing in the morning. I usually just cut up whatever I have in the fridge. Today I had some mango, some cuties, some cucumbers, and some strawberries. And I wanted to take some time and say hi guys. What have you guys been up to? How are you guys feeling? How's life? What's a little update on your life? I feel like it's been a while since we've had a one-on-one. -on -one. My update is really not much. Not much has actually changed since the last time I did a what I ate in a day. Last time I told you guys guys that i had lost my job i was unemployed and then i told you guys that i lost my apartment because i was unemployed so i have been living with my mother back in my hometown since probably around may it's been kind of fun you know there's been some ups and downs obviously it's been kind of sucky not having a job i actually have been job hunting as of lately but not much luck but i did want to mention that i got accepted into the youtube partner program thanks to you guys and i am so overjoyed about it so as you guys can see right there i I served up my fruit on a bed of greens i love to do that i have been serving it up like that for months now it's my favorite kind of way of getting my greens in i use spring mix and then i serve it up with a lime wedge on the side or if you want to get extra fancy you can use like a raspberry vinaigrette if you were feeling super fancy you can add some cheese today i had some violife feta sitting in my fridge it just adds some creaminess but if you guys don't have this you guys can also do some you know tahine you guys can just keep it simple it's pretty basic i mean it's fruit it's delicious okay, so now moving on to the actual dish lately i've been like on a savory breakfast kick so i'm dicing up the veggies i'll be using inside my omelet some red onions some cherry tomatoes because my aunt gifted those to me so thank you tia angie and then i'm adding in like one fourth of a jalapeno because we all know i cannot do spice so yeah today i'm gonna be using this pre-made vegan egg by the brand just honestly i don't buy this often at all but it was on sale for like two dollars cheaper than normal at my local safeway i even bought some for my vegan friend cindy so yeah <laughs> i like to make these omelets and i only use like six tablespoons of the egg in case you wanted to know i actually do track my food i currently am on a weight loss journey and actively tracking for the past like two months so i am in a calorie deficit i'll talk a little bit more on the subject in a bit but yeah i like to add some garlic salt and some black salt to the egg to give it more of an eggy vibe and some flavor so now i'm gonna toss in some beyond sausage into a hot pan i'm only using like one third of the sausage only enough for the filling i'm only cooking for myself i'm just gonna brown up the sausage add in some garlic powder some black pepper and some salt a little bit pretty seasoned so it doesn't need much and i toss in those veggies and just cook until translucent and then i'm adding in some frozen spinach because i didn't have fresh and that's honestly pretty much it i like to switch up my filling every once in a while sometimes i add potato sometimes i use sorizo instead of sausage sometimes i do mushroom honestly the filling is up to you how do you guys like your omelet i feel like everyone has a preference so comment down below if you want to let me know what kind of omelet do you like i think now i just like to have more fun in the kitchen so that's why i cook omelets now but i honestly never cooked an omelet a day in my life before being vegan <laughs> so yeah i just poured in my chest egg mixture i swirl it around and i wait for it to cook it takes a couple minutes and once it bubbles and lifts up kind of like a pancake i flip it with my hand although i do recommend using a spatula so do not try this at home i don't know why i treat it like a tortilla i just do maybe i'm just a little bit of impatient and i wanted it to be done already i was kind of hungry at this point and i poured in my filling and there you guys have 
have it super easy vegan omelet super delicious and it took like 10 minutes honestly i'm actually gonna go outside for this breakfast because one the lighting was better and two honestly who doesn't need some vitamin d i definitely do i tend to stay inside most of the time and i'm just gonna squirt my lime and i was really enjoying the outside because if you live in california right now you know there's a ton of fires and it's been pretty bad outside so i was really enjoying sitting out there for once and don't judge but ever since i was a kid i loved eating my eggs with ketchup so I added some inside my omelet and just kind of swirled it around yeah let me know if you guys do that too because I really can't even eat eggs without ketchup some people find it gross and I think it's absolutely delicious Around the afternoon, I wanted an excuse to use this new creamer that I bought. Oh my god, it's so yummy. I don't drink coffee often, but this creamer is it. I really look forward to using it. So I made a small little coffee with my mom's Keurig that I barely know how to use. And then I added just two tablespoons of this creamer, which I never added that much. I usually add one, but it hits a spot and I dropped my camera. Maybe I could do- ah! So now for some lunch, I made these baked buffalo cauliflower tacos. They are so easy. It's some corn tortillas, some arugula, and some of that buffalo coated cauliflower. These are not battered at all. They're just roasted cauliflower with some buffalo and some seasoning. It's so delicious. Then I served it with some carrots and hummus on the side. And off camera, I topped my tacos with some avocado, some vegan ranch, and some sliced jalapeno. If you want the recipe on this, just let me know in the comments. Now for some dinner, I had this leftover pack of Impossible, it was like half of it, so I decided to toss it into a pan just to brown it up with some spices, and I added in some diced veggies, some onions and tomatoes, some jalapenos, pretty much identical to the ones in the morning, I just realized that. I'm gonna be making some stuffed peppers, I didn't really need to do much, all I did was cook up this meat. <laughs> I needed a little some some so I added in some vile life cheese I only had like a little bit left probably like the tiniest little square I just shredded that up and tossed it right in so now I'm just gonna add the filling to these pre-baked bell peppers as you can see I like to bake them first and then stuff them and then just bake them again because they're softer that way it's just my little tip so yeah if you guys want a recipe on some proper like stuffed peppers I'm more than happy to do that I love these they're so easy and they're pretty amazing to meal prep as well i'm just gonna toss those in the oven and when i took them out i just added in some fresh cilantro and i just served it up with some simple sauteed zucchini and yellow squash and once again i just ate outside because it was so hot i wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about what i mentioned earlier i was talking about how i currently am in a calorie deficit so to lose weight in my weight loss journey i follow just the basic calorie deficit why i am talking about this right now is because i have been on my weight loss journey for quite some time now i usually keep it to myself because it has been a difficult journey it is hard to be on a weight loss journey when you also struggle with this is the trigger warning i'm gonna talk about eating disorders i also struggle with an eating disorder for years now and it's kind of hard to want to lose weight but not trigger myself regarding my eating disorder it's been pretty difficult for me during quarantine you know my mental health was at rock bottom so i mean like almost half my weight back it really hit me hard so what i did was you know i was patient with myself and when i was ready i got back on track and since then i have been in a calorie deficit and it's been roughly two months now and i have currently lost 17 pounds i am pretty proud of myself so if any of you guys are going through a weight loss journey and if you guys want to comment about it let me know you know let me know i'm not alone sometimes i really do feel alone in this journey and just want to share a little piece of me with you and yeah that's pretty much it that's what i wanted to say and just make sure every things good up there you know in your head if you're not right in your mind it can take a toll on you i know that from experience so if you ever feel alone if you ever need to talk to someone you know i'm right here my dms are always open as a person that has struggled 
with mental health my entire life i love each and every one of you anyway back to the video so i didn't snack much today i wasn't so hungry i think after filming so much so after dinner i grabbed one of these vega protein bars a caramel chocolate one these are my obsession i wish they were cheaper honestly because i love them but i do treat myself sometimes to them when i got a little bit of extra money and yeah there's froyo in the background <laughs> Do you want a treat? Say mama. <gasps> Who's a pretty girl? Good girl. Okay guys, so I hope you enjoyed this mini vlog, what I did in a day, chit chat type of video. Leave a comment down below, a like and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for all the love. Bye. Say goodnight. Say bye bye.